Alright, so... Let's look at some of the different stuff for the tree. This one is another one of my favorites. Snowing. Snowfall. As it melts. And then there's a rainbow. And there's a 3D rainbow, meaning it's just kind of sprinkled all. Oh, that's interesting. The rotor, meaning it's rotating around. Oh. Bright twinkle. Pinkle twinkle. They'll look better at night, I think. Like it all the really nice. Yeah. Uh, 3D flag. So this is America right here. Mark. Or France. Phew. <laughs> Magic band is what that one's called. It's a snake. Oh, I see. see. Ooh, fireworks, that one's a lot of fun. Fireworks goes That is not my air. favorite. Be no, with the especially living out and here where... It explodes. Where... And then it twinkles from the explosion. Yeah, but out here in California with the fires. It's... Yes, thank you, Mother. And here's your Italy flag or whatever you said. That's well, Christmas colors, red and green. This one, which is very soothing to those waves. Uh, what's this one? Cool. Like when they hit each other, they change colors. Oh, I didn't notice that. Blue and red, and then purple. Oh. Oh. Cool. This one. Cool. That's nice. This kind of reminds me of Christmas candy. Yeah. Your sunset. <laughs> and then it all goes dark because it's nighttime. No. <laughs> right. Ooh. Like someone pouring a vintage. can of paint down this from the top or something. This is for a vintage tree, I guess. Let's move in blend. Oh, yeah, I see that there. What's the next color? Oh, so it's blue and white. Yeah. And then, what's pale rainbow? Like Easter. Can we have this up for Easter? <laughs> There's a one function where you can have one color on the tree and you can draw on your phone because he's got it all from his phone oh yeah i can do it right now and i he said when spencer it's gets blue. old enough so when red. when spencer gets old enough he can do it and i said yeah he'll he'll be putting on their it's dad green. it's march <laughs> let's take the tree down <laughs> uh let's do some yellow shall we there you go you know what your dad used to do He'd put the lights up, and then he'd look at the tree, and he'd decide that he didn't want that color there, and he'd take the bulb out and put it in somewhere else. <laughs> Hell, I don't even have to decide that anymore, because they're all the same bulb. Yeah. That's the best Pretty part. cool. Nifty neato. And then noise is a baby in a swing. Such a delicate little fella. Look at his hands. He has the prettiest hands. I got him a little keyboard. When I start babysitting him, I'll bring it. It's, a, it's about a foot long. It has 32 little keys. And you can only play one key at a time, but I can teach him piano. But now I'm putting up my little fiber optic tree. <laughs> it has little fiber optics that will shine. And there's a, a light in this base and it shines up through here. I need to unfold all these leaves. Well, my Christmas tree is up. It's not much. 32 inches tall, almost 3 feet tall. little 
Perry. He's down there. I got him from Chris. Mr. Q. And my tree. I have a topper somewhere. Just some cheap old thing. But I don't recall where it is. Wow, that's uh, pretty much the extent of my Christmas decorations. <laughs> pretty pathetic, but I don't really have room for anything. Brian's cleaning the filter. It's on. It's drying. I cleaned all that up in there. And there's my tree. I finished sewing the house coat thing, but the armholes are too small. I'm going to have to dismantle part of the sleeve and add a piece. So if I ever want to use that pattern for anything else, I'm just going to write on there that the armholes are too small. A lot of times that happens. And bigger people, your arms are bigger. And I used to work out a lot and my arms got so big I couldn't wear blouses anymore. I bulked up too much. So I stopped working out. Um, my arms are still big around. And you could see the definition of the, the bicep. <laughs> like, uh, oh, well, you live and learn. But uh, yeah, I gotta redo those. Drinking some chai tea with a lot of milk and honey. And I can taste the clove, which reminds me of pickled onions that I made the other day, and I ate, I ate and drank up all the juice yesterday. I know, if I tell people that pickled onions, then they go, ugh. But I also make pickled ham. And when I mentioned it yesterday at dinner, I said something about, well, yeah, it's good. And pickled ham, and they all went, ugh. Oh, well, more for me. <laughs> I've made that recipe a couple times through the years. Closer to Christmas I'll make some more. And Christmas I make the black bottom pie or the eggnog, chocolate eggnog pie. So, I don't know. Got a call from my brother David tonight. It was really nice to hear from him. He's going up to St. Louis the 10th of December for about 10 days. I'm babysitting Ashley's sister's dog on the 11th, or 10th and 11th. But he said, let me know if you want to come up and help me. And I said, well, I don't know if there's anything I can do. So I don't know. You never know what might be happening. Haven't told Brian or Ashley yet. Brian asked me what I wanted. Oh... <sighs> uh, be nice to have a nice couch. I don't need need it because I have that sectional in there. But I was up on on top of it today. Or I was on the seat part putting up the lights in there, and my foot slipped between the two sections and they split far apart and I almost fell. Like oh crap! <laughs> I don't know. I said that vent needs to have air coming through it. Other than that, I don't really need it, need anything. I don't really. I don't. He says, well, there's not much room for anything else in here. I know. I'm expecting a cool shirt that I broke down and bought for myself. It's a t-shirt with a thing, on, a thing on the front. But anyway, Brian told me what he needs for work and I can get that for him and then he wants these giant socks because he has big feet size 16 and uh, the only ones I found online are ones he already has unless he wants duplicates <sighs> they just don't make things for tall people <laughs> short people can adjust they can sit on a cushion tall people can't we're not going to chop our legs off or our feet off. Oh, oh golly Moses. I, it's almost 10.30. I really should go to bed. I really should. Maybe with all the milk I put in here, it'll help me go to bed. Kitty Cat likes sleeping under the Christmas lights. He likes that. 
So I'm going to end it here. Tomorrow's Saturday. They moved the trash day back. Tomorrow's trash day. Uh, I guess people are going nuts shopping for Christmas. Basically, I have all my Christmas stuff done unless I want to pick up a couple things that were mentioned today. And I can wait. And they're not things that everybody's running out to buy, but the fact that everyone will be out being crowded everywhere, that I don't like. <sighs> Love you. Upward and onward.